Hola mis amigos, Sam Possible. I'm Miguez, my name is Taffrey16, and welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my fourth reaction to that Peter K thing. So, I had said this a bunch in the past, I did three episodes of this previously, and a couple months ago I realized, you know what, there's not really that many episodes of this, I might as well just finish this. And then I said that a couple of times and didn't actually follow through on it, but I'm doing it now, I'm doing it now, because there's only a couple episodes left, so we might as well just finish it. There was a one series of six episodes, which I did in very weird order, actually. I think I did the third episode first, the first episode second, and the second episode third, which is a real mindfuck when you think about it. But there's actually seven total episodes, because before the first series, there was just a straight-up pilot episode. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do today, is the pilot. It is called The Services. Uh, it's about 24 minutes, so let's go ahead and watch it. Alrighty, the services. Alright, the services. Let's do it. Mm. Must have driven down here a million times. Have Still you? Still brings the ears up on the back of my neck, though. God damn it. What a feeling. You know, they say that home is where the heart is, and my heart definitely lies here. At first services, Bolton. My heart's somewhere She's in Pennsylvania. She's my first, my last, my everything. It's good the windows are wiped down. I'll tell young Matthew. Cool. Very loud saxophone. Out of fucking nowhere. Pearl Harmon has been the manageress of the Bolton Services for four years. Morning, Brian. Missed a bit some. Today's oh, just another Brian, day okay. for the staff of the services, but not for local DJ oh. Paul Leroy. Oops. He's here to draw support for local radio station Chorley FM as it bids <laughs> for an FM license. Coming in your ears. So it's 8 a.m. and time for day shift roll call. Morning, team. You may or may not have realised that we've got a camera crew in today from Channel 4 in London, and they're here today doing a documentary on our services. Just giving a little bit of an insight into what goes on. So, Alison, are you chewing? Spit it out, please, love, in the bin. It's like dragging nails down a blackboard. Spit Gum it or out, tobacco? I hope Have you gotten about a little chap yet yesterday? So it's soon. It's been a day. Pardon? It's been a day off. You're in today because you're a team player girl and because Adina's phone is sick with a water infection. That's why you're in today. Mr Hughes never calls in on our days off. Mr Hughes is long gone and you could quite easily be joining him. Think Ooh. on, young lady. Excuse me. Pardon? Suits me. Got him. Showing off. After a failed marriage and expulsion from his job with the RAC, Alan McClarty formed his very own motor recovery service, the ARC. <laughs> Excuse me, love. Are you to share one of these? Obviously not. You doing a fine way that soaks you through. Yeah, yeah. It it's, it's funny, really. You see. I think I'm sitting on a gold mine with this business. Doing the mag see, other funny. road companies, they don't treat their staff half as well as I do. You see, I'll name, I'll name them, I don't care. You can bleep it out later. The AA, the RAC, I was with the RAC for 14 years before they showed me the door. They showed me the door. Kinda. Kinda. You, you get where I'm coming from. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. This is ARC, not RAC. Don't... Yeah, yeah. alright. The fuse might want changing and it might just want rewiring. If it gets too hot, get me or Sonia or alternatively, just throw a blanket over it. Right, anybody, any questions? We're going to time and a half for this lot being here. What? Standard equity rate, surely. Hey. One word, Terry. Job club. Right, let's go and do it to them before they Terry do it to us. Terry looks familiar. Do what to who? Uh, so that's a foot spa, a health spa, and a £20 voucher for your local spa, so near so. Three fantastic prizes, and all available today on Charlie FM, your favourite waste of time. I've counted four Peter K's at this point. Matthew is a part-time customer well, care assistant who's yeah. in the last year of a drama degree. Oh, Jesus. 
You all right? Fall. Look at Is he all right? Don't fall on that floor, don't want you suing me. Matthew is becoming increasingly frustrated with his job at the services and longs for the smell of the grease paint rather than that of the toilet. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. Don't come in here. That, that, dis that disgusts me. Why can't people flush the filthy bastards? Look at it. It's nothing, it's just... And the smell, it smells like a rotten Alsatian, doesn't it? They should know after last Easter. Yeah, it's on Channel 4. Yeah, I know I can't believe it either. And you never know, Carol might get covered at Radio Times. See Gavin Alroy's face when he sees that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, might get a chat show. Yeah, never thought of that. Esther, Kilroy. Mm, well, look at that more. She only passed the driving test. She had a record in top 40. And they did a bloody life. You see that? Oh, yeah, Carol. Might get a taste of that life you read about, eh? Mm. I don't know about that. Mind up in Mary Claire. <laughs> Don't put that thing at me. Look at the state of me. Poor thing. Not happy. I'm gonna no. kill Adina. She never does any prep. Oh. Leaves me to do it all. Then she calls in sick with a water infection. Yeah, right. Oh, Funny how water? the sister sent night last night. She did this to me last week. She called in sick. Supposedly she had a bad leg. Anyway, I know for a fact she didn't, cos our Jason saw her that night in Club Excess, off her face, danced on the podium doing the Macarena. Hey, Macarena. So, Anyway, she waltzes in the next day, reeking a tear Maria. Hands me a sick note, then buggers off. Bruh. I'm surprised she doesn't have that sick note laminated. Might as well. I hate, I hate it. I hate it here. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm ready. I'm tired. I think, I think, I think I've got ME. You know, I'm always tired, I'm always here and all. Anna was up all night learning my lines. Got a big final production next week. I've got six monologues to learn. We're doing a lecture by Sophocles. Wow. I'm Orestes, the son of Agamemnon. Can you believe that? That's a laugh. I've got to work up enough motivation to stab my own mother for four nights and a matinee at a hospice. Look at that shine. Hey. Success for Charlie FM depends on Paul Leroy getting enough listeners to support their FM license application. How's that going? But Paul's not happy. Yeah. And the position that he's been given at the far end of the car park is far from ideal. Oh, screw this. This is bollocks. I'm not happy with this. Paul goes off to complain. To who? But in his absence, another problem arrives. Oh. Meet me, Momo. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is services. We're stopping here for 10 minutes and 10 minutes only. So don't get in a meal, right? When I say 10 minutes, I mean 10 minutes, right? It's just a leg stretch. Voss, Voss, he led services. Revenant. Now that's even closer than that. That's almost Deece, exact. These minutes for the French. These minutes. No meal. This is a pantalon. A leg stretch, right? Okay, and don't get any cans of pop. Because they can roll under the foot pedals and cause a major road accident. All right, so think on. I think they should hang joyriders on the night. Just bring back capital punishment. Hang people on the national lottery. Excuse me, sir. Jesus. Can I hear the... Nope. Hang them on the national lottery. And when the body drops, the foot says the ball's rolling. You know what I think? What on a Wednesday? What on a... Excuse me, sir. Sorry, love. Oh, got him. Fuck that up, didn't I? <laughs> right. She give me some shit about environmental health. So at least it's brightening up. What's that lying in the window? Oh no way! Forget that. My name is Utah. Ah. That's my Wild West name. My real name's Craig. Okay, that's that's the Max place. That's exact. Like. No, I like that. I said it. It's a Wild West shake. That. I've counted five like, Peter Caves. Trigger now. finger. That's it. What's this on channel four? Hmm. It's not on channel five, is it? Bloody garbage, that. You seen that? It's all quiz shows and repeats. Mind you, saying that I don't see much TV. You know, driving these girls around. 
answer. She took it out of me this morning. She's thirsty. She's an 80 gallon for breakfast. We want to have a Peter Morning. K on Peter K fight? I used to drive a sister ship, you know, she's a big girl, I know, but Dougie's, Dougie, my mate, he's took that to uh, Ruth Maddock on a mystery tour. Rather him than me in this weather. No, the big girls, the pair of them, and uh, sailing through some of these small villages, it's like threading the eye of a needle. Orestes, the son of Agamemnon. Hmm. Son of the warlord who led the Greeks to Troy. Hold Don't on. fall. Oh. oh, shit. Today, today we are in Argos. The ancient line you, la, land you paint for and long to see again. What do you think? You're getting there. It's supposed to be a Greek tragedy. The director wants to update it with this. The 60s gangland London. I will make it a friggin' tragedy. <laughs> Once it all craze and cashmere, long coats. Look if I get duffel coats. He's all, he smokes draw. Uh, joints and, you know, on, on, the, on the set. Um, yeah, really? Last week, well, someone, someone who walked right. leaves in the bottom of the shoes, right? But it was raining. You just walk them in naturally. You know, he comes down. Who's walked leaves in? Right. And we're all just looking at one another like, we we'll all have, you know. Was just cracked about 10 minutes and then it says, I like it. I like it. Go and bag some up. Had us outside with carrier bags, filling them up with leaves and putting them in, throwing them all around the set. Let's bring the outside inside. Let's bring the outside inside. Yeah, that sounds pretty artsy. Pick that up, please. All right, all right. Got everybody? Are there a couple sat in front of you? Yeah, that French couple. Yeah. Uh, queuing with a tray. You are? I saw him queuing with a tray. Oh. Oh. Jesus, oh. give him an inch. Give him an inch. Excuse me. The English shepherds to me, I've seen all the Did you say that in English? The English shepherds to me, I've seen all the Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Fucking smart ass. <laughs> it's getting beyond a joke, this. I've got to pick up in bands, little one. Bloody French, they can't speak a word of English. Of the many things that can disrupt the smooth running of the services, it's Utah's missing French tourists who will cause the most trouble today. So I says to her, I says, blow job or no job. <laughs> They're getting on a National Express, that couple. What? They're getting on a National Express. Oh, bollocks to this. Come on, we're going. They can make their own way to Windermere. Bruh. Fuck them. There you go. The coach is gone. Ah. And the park one. Good it's terms. one o'clock yes. and there are clouds on Pearl's horizon. Yes, well, there's going to be plenty of coaches coming into the car park with services. A French couple? Not to my knowledge, no. I'm, I'm very busy, I have enough in play. I can't be dealing with people getting, getting back on their own coaches. I have enough to do. What? I'm, not to my knowledge, I'm a... Well, it's NMP, love. Not my problem. Oh, got him. Bye-bye. They've a damn cheek, National Express. Falling up here. Apparently, a French couple have got on one of their coaches instead of the one that. I can't be responsible for people getting on their own coaches. It's not my problem. I have enough of my play. If I had a pound for every person who got back on their own coach and left by coaches in this place, I'd be a millionaire. I'd have four pounds for this week, I tell you. Nobody else you. July 83, this. Ryan Paris is the only one, only hit he ever had. Classic, that, this, all this, classic, 80s. I get persecuted for playing 80s, but, you know. No, go for it. To them, you know. It's just brilliant, isn't it, you know. Fuck I mean, em. 80s, it was the classic time, that, you know. People say it was like the 60s, but it, it was the 80s. You know, <laughs> everybody knew what they were doing, and those who were there, remember. The sun was endless, and every year something different happened. It's like the 60s, know. but you remember it. Dolce Vita there by Ryan Paris. Apparently, we're all living our lives in a Dolce Vita. Come down, it's Charlie FM. It's coming at you. Uh, it's coming in your ears. So come down. Hey, you know, there don't, it is. don't be frightened with the weather. We're carrying on regardless. So uh, 
come down let's see you down here and here we go with Anika and apparently this is from 81 another one hit wonder and she's having problems with a Japanese boy you're listening to yeah another hit from the 80s that's right here we go with Anika listen to this classic see the 80s everyone was crazy you know they were, no one cared they're out the mind I fractured my femur listen to this I fractured my femur limbo dancing in Pontins in 82 I drove back Six oh, hours join a caravan. Never felt a thing. I thought it was wind the whole way back. Listen, listen to this. You couldn't buy this. This is a classic. Oh, I know. That was a bit of a low point in my life because I spent a lot of time in Bolton Roll Infirmary after You probably couldn't make weeks. this song nowadays. And, you know, I stumbled into uh, hospital radio, Radio Lollipop. Turned out that that broken femur turned out to be the break I've been searching for. Yeah. I was with them for, for you know, I joined them and we started doing fundraising events, charity events, and now that's led to this, Charlie FM, and fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Well, it's not my problem, Gavin, is it? This is this bloody French couple. They're up the M6 now having a playman's. Listen to this. Well, they want to put the clocks back an hour. They're in England now. We invented time. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I can't be held responsible for negligent coach drivers or French tourists who can't tell the difference between brown and blue. Because we're chock a block down here today, Gavin. Yes, we're talking double figures. Yes. Well, ring Wally Arnold. That's the best advice I can give to you. Stand for your answer, you two and all. He's a cheeky get that Gavin, all right. He used to, he used to work here. He used to mop toilets under me before he got lured over to Lancaster as lodge manager, all exotic. Oh, friend. We, me and Ardeen, we got caught up in Depp in 93 in one of them <clears throat> tractor and truck disputes. Eight hours and nasty. They were setting fire to sheep at one point. But they weren't that bullshit in 1939 when we needed them, huh? We done a bit of good then. Dog! Whoa, shoot! Come on! The RAC want to be out of the picture, right? 14 years, I gave them everything. I was a patsy. I was a bloody patsy. Alan Harvey Oswald, that was me. Wrong place, wrong time. The face didn't fit. She was 15. She, she was 15 and a half, right? Or six months. She looked much older, especially wearing that basque. That's brilliant, Irene. Thanks. I owe you one for this. Oh, that's great oh. news. Thanks. OK, thanks. Don't forget to book me in for Tuesday. OK, Irene, bye. Brilliant. We've got a celebrity coming this afternoon. Really? TV's own Bob Carroll G's from um, Hold Tight and Tis Was. He's going to be coming into services. Don't need to see that. Irene Kershaw's my mobile hairdresser. She's been giving Bob's niece some highlights. He's phoned up from his mobile. He's on his way up to see her up the 61. He's going to call into services. We're the only services on the 61. That's fantastic news. Great. Well, a couple of frame photographs for the foyer. I'll give our Keith a ring, get him bring his camera down. We've not had a celebrity through since last August. We had that Bill Bermont through, that rugby player. He were a miserable get. Mm -hmm. He had a tenner's worth of unleaded, an orange euro and buggered off. Oh, this is great. I wonder if he'll have his uh, spit the dog with him, you know. Apparently he's never without it, it's like his other arm. Yeah. Hey, well, we're needing these if we're going to DEFCON 5. It's a familiar drill for the staff at the services. And all the stops are pulled in anticipation of the arrival of a celebrity. You could just see Bob Carlgy's red in this, couldn't you? Chief Leader to Fist Eagle, over. Chief Leader to Fist Eagle, do you read me? I can see her, she's over there. <laughs> Chief Leader to Fist Eagle, are you there or what? <laughs> Answer me, over. Yes, I'm here, Miss Hardman, fat bitch. Fist Eagle, when you clean the ride, give those windows a wipe down and use the proper cloth. As opposed to what? Yes, over. Fist Eagle, have you heard me? Yes, I've heard you, over. Fist Eagle, are you there or what? Jesus, I'm here. Push the button on you stupid bitch. I beg your pardon. OK, it's Charlie FM. We've still got three fantastic prizes to give away. A health spa, a foot spa and a £20 voucher for your local spa. It's Charlie FM with the listeners come first. Down here at the services, Bolton, the crowds are gathering. What are these kids as doing? As you can see. So come on and you too can join the Rocksteady crew. Come on, oh, Polaroid. Paul isn't having much luck in raising support for Charlie FM. 
The crowds are thin on the ground, but Paul's wife Sandra has turned up to offer him some encouragement. You like to see a photograph of the wife? That's her there. That's Denise. Yeah, God. That's... God but not forgotten. God. Aren't you? Oh, she's watching this, Denise. Hey, you left me in the shit, didn't you? Yeah, God. Came home to an empty house. Empty. All she left me was a stock cock and a spider plant. Empty. Damn. Clean me out, she did. Lost my job, lost my wife. I stood through it. I stood by her through thick and thin. I stood by that woman, you know? And all because I had a weekend fling with a barmaid called Tina. <laughs> Matthew is not amused. Come on, bro. This is getting beyond a joke now. I'm sure Bob Carroll, Jesus, has seen soft porn before. He's finding Pearl's celebrity extras an extreme embarrassment. You know, Bob Carroll, geez, used to do adverts for Elman's Mayonnaise at one time. Oh, we've got a fresh film in there, because last time you had it developed, there were people that had died. I blame Thelma Louise, though. As soon as she saw those two, she was straight out of that kitchen and straight into night school. It was degree this, module that, got to get a university degree, you know. 90s woman, straight behind her, you know. And the final straw came when I caught her trying to change a plug. I gave her a crack with that. Jesus. Yeah. It's four o'clock, and there's still no sign of either Bob or Spit. We have a big celebrity coming this afternoon. Who? You know, you know Richard Harris? Mm. Wild Geese, Charles and the Ape Man? Not him. <laughs> Bob Carroll, Jesus, and Spit the Dog, aren't we the lucky ones? Hey? Eh? Straight up, Oliver, you just like your brother. Alison, go easy with them chocolate sprinkles, will you? They're not cheap. Oh. Hello, Sonia, yes? Oh, help. He's, well, he's here. Oh. Matthew! Matthew, Bob's here! He's where? Oh, piss. Matthew, he's, he's, oh, he's southbound, lad. He's over the other side of the road. He's over the road! Get over there, will you? He's here! No, you don't. He's driving out! He's driving off! Chief leader at first, he's gone! What the Chief fuck? leader! This Hardman, he's gone! He's driven out! Oh, what a bastard! <laughs> Alas, Bob and Spit came and went. Damn. Along with the rest of the travellers who passed through the services. Paul Leroy and Sandra pack up the equipment. No, oh, no, no, get that. The day has been a washout for Chorley FM. Hurry up, it's raining. Right. But for the staff of the services, it's the end of just another working day. You can have tomorrow off if you like. Oh, I've got... Adina's phoned in, she's coming in. Besides, you got cover today, didn't you? So... Oh, if you're sure, I mean, I didn't mind. No, I ain't quick before I change your mind. <laughs> £42. For that, if only £42, you get a roadside recovery road start, really, and you, and you can screw my wife for all! Hey, hey, I'll throw that on the floor! Bastard, these cost money to print! Excuse me, sir, right here, I'll see it all! Run! Would you? Um, bollocks! <laughs> I don't know why you fucking bother. Right then, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm off tomorrow. Uh... I'll see you Thursday then. No, you won't see me Thursday. I've got a day off, thank God. I'm saying that I've got a roll of line or coming. They'll probably be putting that down till dinner. Uh, Friday. You won't see me Friday. I'm over the road. We're leaving for Sonia. I'll see you Saturday then, yeah? Yes, you'll see me Saturday. All okay, right. Alison. Bye bye. Ciao. As one shift ends, another begins. I'm going now, Asif. I've left them keys hanging up for you. I've done the rotors for the next three weeks. All right. If there's any problem, don't ring me. It won't be long before Pearl is back for yet another working day at the services, Bolton. Well, another one back to dust, as Freddie would say. You missed a bit, Brian. How long has Brian been there? Next Not week, now. Pearl has trouble with the toilets. I don't care whose it is, I don't care what it is, it's floating. <laughs> Matthew has first night nerves. Poor Matthew. Hey, you bastard! Get out of here! 
And Alan finally has a breakdown. We will! We will love you! That's next we week at The Services. We will, we will love you! Oh, Lord. Well, it was definitely more fun for me watching that after already seeing Phoenix Nights because, like, it helps me get things like the radio station. Uh, I guess that's where that started. And um, some of the accents he was doing obviously sounded familiar. Uh, that was a pretty fun episode of that Peter K. thing. What was, let's see, we had the Ice Cream Man one, the Bingo Hall one, and the one that was basically the Phoenix Knights prequel. The other ones have just been so long ago. I think the Bingo Hall one I remember being pretty good. Um, I think the Ice Cream Man Wars is probably still my favorite, if I had to pick a favorite. Yeah, I, I think... What a, you know, obviously it's just parody, but like in actuality, what a weird place to do a documentary on. Could you imagine if Channel 4 was actually doing a documentary on a service station? Like, <laughs> when you think about it, what a weird place to do a documentary on. But maybe, maybe that's the joke. Maybe they were doing a bunch of weird documentaries at the time. I don't know. Um, so, again, there are four episodes left of this. Sorry, three episodes left of this. We've done four episodes. So we will get through this uh, over the next couple months uh, to finish this show up. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for my fourth reaction to that Peter K thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you think I should do the remaining episodes, because the remaining episodes are four, five, and six of the first series. So I could just do them in order. I might just. If you want to see one before any of the others, let me know. Or if you're okay with me just doing them in order. Uh, then let me know on that too. But that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, free stream views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, my daily motion, in my view. Actually, no, not my view. I got banned off there. All those things are in the description down below. Thank you to, as I'm currently recording, all 83 of my Patreons through Con Support Me, my channel. For those of you that don't know, you can be a Patreon of me. For as low as $1, one pound, you get access to direction videos as well to read your comments a day early and get your name in the description as well. Also, in the description is linked to the community rate as well as the daily schedule as well as Twitch files channel. With all that being said though, my name is Tamford Steams, my fourth reaction to that Peter K thing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.